Hello everyone. Uh, so I have the Fairy Oracle by Brian Froud. Um, I've had this deck for quite a while and I've been avoiding opening it because it feels powerful. I got this deck. Uh, they're pretty hard to find and I got this deck because so many people recommended like I'm a, I'm a fan of Brian Sprout's artwork and because I deal with a lot of fairy and fae they recommended this deck to me and I've loved his artwork I've always loved his artwork um, but I was always just a little scared of this energy because um, you'll know I'm a <laughs> yeah so I got this deck uh, back in Mercury Retrograde and have been avoiding opening it because like when I oh, when I touch this box when I just this box is just full of mysteries and excitement and it feels very contractual it feels like if I open this box and whatever is in here I have now formed a relationship with um, it feels like that there that there are indeed fairy calling cards in this box um, in this deck it feels like there are fairy um, uh, portals in this deck fairy activation cards in this deck um, I know very little about the deck itself, but I do know that this is not an ordinary deck and I'm not surprised that a number of my card reading friends t say that they have retired uh, the deck because they just couldn't vibe with the energy because not everybody can, yeah, it's not for everybody. Let's just say, the Fae and Fairies are not for any of your bodies. So, here we go. I have been avoiding doing this for so long. I've been avoiding it for so long. Okay, this is such a beautiful book. It's hardcover. Working with the Fairies to find insight, wisdom, and joy. Well, I don't necessarily work with the Fairies. The Fairies tend to work with me. Um, they kind of like, they like my energy, so they kind of vibe with me. And they hang out um, and if they have stuff to tell me great most of the time they just like to play first steps into the other world oh shoot oh my god <laughs> this is gonna take a while oh my god ah introducing certain fairies okay whoa okay so I was so right Okay, so this is about how to use the deck. Great. Okay, and this is introducing certain fairies. Like, I knew that this would have calling cards and um, activations. The zero card, the guide, singers of the realms, unity, union, mystical experience. Oh my god, like, I'm telling you. Oh, okay, so I'm. My heart's racing. My heart is racing. Ecstasis, the guardian at the gate. Yay! Of the fiery, he of the fiery sword. She, oh my god, oh my god, this, oh, why do I feel I like I, 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 I know these. The singer of intuition, these are all the singers, I know the singers. Oh my god, okay, wait, 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 I missed one, that was important. I missed, oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start doing the side. Pronounced what? She. She. Pronounced she. God, I should have put my glasses on. Pronounced she. Are uh, the people of the hills, the lords, and oh, oh my god, the old ones. Okay, so, so these, this is, these are the, okay, the bright mother. We know her. This, oh my god, like, okay, so, 
I guess I'm gonna be working with these decks for a while. Um, so look out for that. <laughs> this is, my heart's just racing. My heart is just racing with the, this deck. Oh my God. Yeah, these little monsters. These little crazy little pixie types. Yes, crazy. They're called, okay, pixies. Always causing trouble. Fairy challengers. Whoa, okay. Mm. Mm. This is gonna be something else. Recommended sources. Uh, yeah, some of these sources online are not always the best places to find information. I generally kind of stick to uh, other practitioners that work with fairies and um, my own guides. Going deeper. Okay, so this is the... And this is what the deck looks like. Oh my god, this does not look like the movie Labyrinth. Like, I just, I stumbled on the movie Labyrinth years, well, when I was a teenager, I guess most people stumble on it. Cause, and, yeah, you with your one eye, one of my crazy uncles, your twisty, funny guy that goes all over the place. Yeah, 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 you know this one. The Lady of the Forest. She came up for somebody when I was doing a reading. It's interesting now that I have cards for these. This is beautiful. Who does this look like? Gosh. The singers. These singers. The singers are elementals, of course. I wonder if there's any... It looks like gin in here, because you guys know I have two gin. The dark lady. Mm-hmm. The pipers. Nice guy. This came up, the Pipers came up for somebody already. I saw Pipers for a fair reading that somebody had. Oh, these are beautiful. I like these. They're not, well, some are very familiar. Some, I wonder if there's the horse one that's in here. Is there a horse one in here? Because there was a horse one. There was a horse one that showed up um, in my house, and then I had all kinds of leaky plumbing problems. Hmm. No, I should know. That's not it. His tongue was always hanging out of his mouth. Okay. It was the horse one that was like. All the plumbing issues in my house, and then all the water birds started showing up um, around my house. I do not live near water, but they definitely sensed that horse with, that lives in the water. I was no, the horse. Ooh, what is this? That's a fairy guide. That is really cool. These are so cool. Okay. I'm still paying attention to the cards that I actually was not actually looking at the video to see if it was coming out really well or not. <laughs> and I apologize for that because I was really excited and I decided, okay, I'm going to go um, read, open this box and show you guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Look at this! Aww. You know who this is. You know who this is. Thanks, 
guys, I am definitely going to be doing some using this deck. And so, thanks for watching. Look out for some fairy readings with my new deck. This And the singer of intuition wishes you a good day.